Question 1. A 500 kilogram car rolls down a hill with acceleration 4 metres per second every second. The angle of the hill is 30 degrees and we have to determine the size of the backward force acting on the car. Well, we know the acceleration of the car, we know its mass, therefore we can go ahead and we can work out the unbalanced force acting on the car. F equals MA, which is going to be equal to 500 kilograms, multiplied by the acceleration, which is 4, leave the units out for the moment, and we're going to get 2,000 newtons. So we know the unbalanced force causing acceleration is 2,000 newtons. Now let's take a look at a diagram of what's happening. And there's a diagram there, 500 kilogram car on a slope of 30 degrees. And we do know that the unbalanced force acting down the slope is going to be the order of 2,000 newtons. And all we have to do is fill in the other forces acting on the car. And the first force is the weight component of the car acting parallel to the slope. And we can find that out by doing this equation here, F parallel to the slope is equal to mg, the weight, times sine theta. It's the weight component parallel to the slope. So that's quite simple to work out. All we have to do is just plug in the numbers for that. And we have F parallel is going to equal to 500 times 9.8 times sine of the angle of 30 degrees. And that goes out to be 500 times 9.8 times sine 30, sine 30 is a half, it comes out to be 2,450 newtons. So we have 2,450 newtons acting down the slope. 2,450 newtons acting down the slope. But you can see the unbalanced force is really 2,000. So the backward force, which must be acting on that car, must be 4,500 in order to be taken away from the forward force. So the backward force must be 4,000, sorry, 450 newtons. And there we have the full picture of what's happening. The unbalanced force is going to be 2,450 newtons acting down the way, take away 450 newtons up the way, and that gives us 2,000 newtons, and therefore we know the acceleration from F equals MA. Question 2. An object of mass 200 kilograms hangs from a crane. If the mass is stationary, find the tension in the cable. The mass now accelerates upwards with an acceleration of 1 metres per second every second, and we have to find the new tension in the cable. To do this problem, we have to rely on our free body diagram, and that really is a diagram which shows the forces acting on the object. And there's the object there. So we can imagine that to be the object, and we put in the forces. First of all, the object is stationary, so we draw in the first force, which is the weight acting downwards, and that will be balanced by the tension in the rope pulling upwards. So in that situation, you have tension is going to equal the weight. So we can write down then that the tension is equal to the weight. Tension is equal to the weight. If the object is not accelerating, and it's stationary there. And we can easily work out what the weight is because the weight is going to be equal to mg, which is going to be the weight, the mass of the object, which is 200, multiplied by 9.8, the gravitational field strength, and that's going to give us an answer of 1960 newtons. So we have a weight of 1960 newtons acting downwards. That's 1960 acting downwards. And therefore the tension of the rope to have it stationary, the object stationary, must also be 1960 newtons. Now what happens when we accelerate upwards, the object accelerates upwards? Well, it's going to have an unbalanced forcing act acting on it. And there's the value of the unbalanced force there. And we can easily calculate what that unbalanced force is, because we know the acceleration of it, and we also know the mass of it. So the unbalanced force acting on the object when it accelerates is Ma. And that's going to go to the mass of it, which is going to be 200. And I'm going to multiply that by 1, because that's how much it's accelerating by. So the unbalanced force acting on it is 200 newtons. So this force here is going to be 200 newtons. So we can just simply move that vector up to here. And there we have the new tension. The force up here is going to be, unbalanced force will be 200 newtons up here. So there is the new 
tension in the rope. And the new tension rope is made up of the old tension plus the added bit due to its accelerating upwards. And we can see that the tension in the rope then is going to become the following tension is going to be equal to 200 unbalanced force plus the original tension which is going to be 1960. And the new tension in the rope is going to be 2160 newtons. And we can verify that because we can see that the tension in the rope, take away the weight, that's going to be 2160, the new tension, 2160 newtons. Take away the weight, 1960 newtons, the weight still acts down the way, and therefore we're going to have an unbalanced force of 200 newtons. And that's the unbalanced force part there. So there's your answer.